Hello. Hello. Welcome to New York Nerd Show. It's almost my birthday. It is, well, not quite. It's so almost. Got, uh, Bitter Ritz. All that, Pat. And Gizmo. He's sleepy. He's always sleepy. He is. So we're going to start off with, uh, I know, yes, it's day six of ten. Day six of ten, counting down to the most epic, mm -hmm. fantastic, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Finish it up. Bring it Spectacular. home. Spectacular. Okay. Got to wrap it up. Is what okay. I mean. Wrap I, it up. Birthday. Yes. Time. So we're going to start off with, uh, what do we call it? Crazy card collecting. Crazy card. I, uh, working name and progress. Working title, I, yes. I don't like it. But anyway, so um, I don't think we actually posted it, but we were, we had recorded uh, one of the local The Calls of the Wild episodes. Yep. Um, and we. I think it's out in Connecticut is where we got these. Yes, I think you're correct. So uh, they gave us a box. We bought the last three packs of these are the vintage Simpsons. Simpsons. And what's cool is if you look on the back of the box, um, there's actually like the little like uh, informational for shipping. So it actually tells you basically how much the cards cost, which is 50 cents. Uh, the category was candy right there. So yeah, this is like this came out. I think they were 1990. Um, yeah, 1990. Right at the uh, height of the initial Simpsons craze. Mm -hmm. And so, again, these are some collectible, collectible cards from back when that came out. I believe I had these when I was a kid. Uh, once I see what they look like, I'll kind of, that'll definitely know if I have I've them never not. seen them. I don't remember ever seeing them. But I wasn't really big into cards uh, when I was growing up. I was more into stickers, collecting all the stickers. I had a sticker book. <laughs> the puffies and the them. sniffy. Yep. I feel like they were probably hiding somewhere in, like, a childhood box somewhere. I think with these cards, if I'm remembering correctly, I think they're framed like a television. Okay, well, we'll find out. We'll find out, exactly. So we're only going to open one of the packs because uh, we won't torture you guys for too long. <laughs> but we've got two Bart Simpsons that say, oh, man, and uh, have eight dynamic cards with one crummy sticker. So that's the front and the back's not too exciting. Yeah. They're the wax packs. that, Or we have the Simpson family, which the has functional eight family right there. Yeah, they don't say that. You said that. The eight fabulous cards and one lousy sticker. So, would you prefer to... I feel like since we have two Barts, we should open a Bart. But yeah. I guess it's your yes. call. Okay. Yeah, no, so, I we're going to open a Bart. Right. And these were made in Duria, Pennsylvania. My favorite township <laughs> of Pennsylvania. Uh, Spend many they, hours there. Made in 1990. Copyrighted by, of course, Fox. 1990, they would put it 30 years old. Wow. Yeah. We're old. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh you're right. Yep. Nice. So yep. we do have the TV uh, borders, like you said. And the coloring is, like, I guess some of the older ones. I don't know. They're so, like, orangey. Uh, I feel they're like it actually like... doesn't look too bad in the in the screen, but to me, it looked really No, yeah, the colors coloring. are definitely off, but that's... You know. I, yeah, well, it's a cheap, <laughs> I don't know, printing, I guess. But on the back, they make a puzzle, which I've definitely seen those from uh, older cards. They used yeah, to make, like, like puzzles. Yeah, garbage kits. A lot yeah. of the cards back in the day did that. Yeah, so I'm going to, like, maybe oh. try to put these in order. Wait, wait, wait. Order real quick. Oh, come on. Eh, eh, eh. All right. So that way we can have a little bit oh, of the understanding. Oh, the crummy sticker's nice. Yes. All right. Look at this so, artwork, just to give you yeah, an idea. The Simpsons at this point. Like. Had know. only been on, I think, for a year. Tracy oh, okay. Allman prior to that, but so this is probably going to mix, be a mix of art from the Tracy Allman show. So there's Marge. <laughs> like, well, looks seriously, crazy. wait, she looks more like Mo with a wig. She does kind of look like Mo. I would agree with that. Moose is like I can't do it. So voice she at says, all. "Don't forget your lunches." Can you do it in Marge voice? Don't forget your lunches. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, better than I can do, I think. Bart's Bafflers. All right, Ooh. let's do this. Ready? Uh, so he says, pretty hip dude. Bart Simpson, PhD. So the Simpsons' neighbors are A, the Rubbles. That's funny. B, the Quails. Mm -hmm. C, the Flanders. Or D, the Huxtables. So one thing that, that really puts this in the collect time capsule mm -hmm. is B. Do you know the Quails, who that really who, is? I know the Rubbles are from Flintstones. Yep. The Quails is Dan Quayle, Vice President of the United States back in 1990. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the D, Huxtables, the Huxtables. What's, he, what's that from? Bill Cosby. Oh, that's right. Cosby okay. Show. So that leaves, you guessed it, answer C. The Flanders. Yep. I just think it's kind of funny. There's like those all optional answers that can really date this. Yes. 
All right, here's card. So that was card number two. No, no, card number one. That was one in the series. I wonder how many there are total. I'll have to look it up I'm later. Sure it says. You think so? Don't yawn at me. I can't. Yeah, you can look around. I don't think it said. It said very bare minimum on this. That's true. Yeah. Usually cards packs. Uh, well, nowadays they do because there's like more collectability to them, and there's like rare cards and chase mm. cards. Okay. Back then, I'm surprised you didn't get a pack of gum. Yeah. Oh, so that one didn't even a picture. It was a. It was a puzzle uh, quiz. So I guess not all of them have puzzles. All right, number six, card number six. I have an announcement to make. I'm bored. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, there's a puzzle. Ooh, there's another, right, another well, quiz. quiz. Bye, Gizmo. All right, here we go. Here all we right, go. So it's Maggie's mutterings. Look at her in her little cap and gown. She's so cute. <laughs> all right. Uh, what did Bart learn in Sunday school? A, apes don't go to heaven. B, our dead pets are waiting for us in heaven. C, robots with human brains are in heaven, or D, ventriloquists meet their dummies in heaven. I'm going to be honest with that. I guess apes don't go to heaven. I don't even know. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Correct. Good yeah. job. God, that, that must have been like a really throw a line, a throwaway line. I don't in that know what it show. means. It has 40 at the top. Like, is that from episode 40 or something? No, no. Oh. That, that might just be like the 40th quiz that they have in the series. No way. It's quit card number six. Well, I don't Maybe. know. Then. I don't know. All right. Card number 10. Time for our favorite cartoon, Itchy and Scratchy. They fight. They fight. They fight. Yeah. They fight. They fight. They fight. Another quiz. Maybe most of them are quizzes. Maybe. <laughs> Bard's Bafflers. What was the other one? Yeah, Maggie's no, Mysteries no, no, I or know. whatever. I meant the Mumbles. All right. So what was Bart not forced to do in France? A, speak French. B, wear a beret. C, squish grapes with his feet. Or D, be surrounded by frogs. I think I know this one. Okay. Maybe if you guys want to put it in the chat, you're more than welcome to put A, B, C, or yeah, D. Yeah, definitely. Feel free to put your uh, guesses in the chat, and we will kind of say if you're correct or not. Absolutely. So I am thinking uh, it's D. I don't think that he was surrounded by frogs. The answer is D. That's Good what job. I thought. Because he actually was forced to uh, squish grapes with his feet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind watching that one because that was one of the first episodes very early on. I haven't seen that one in a while. And I actually binged The Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. I wonder if that one just got removed. It wasn't you on fell there. fell asleep. As you yeah. Yeah, because I didn't actually even <laughs> watch the happen. babysitter one either. So I, I guess I definitely missed a couple of the early episodes. Yes. Uh, okay, God, so look here's at this Homer. Art. He's special looking. Can you imagine... Hold on, let's see. Side by side, a wonderful picture of marital bliss. Yes. <laughs> Messed up Homer and uh, and and Mo Moarge Simpson. So he's saying, I know supervising technician, I'm a technical supervisor. And that's what that face means. Jeez Louise, that's so weird. All right. Oh, Lisa's low down. Oh, hit us with us, Lisa. Nice. So whoo, there's Lisa in her cap and gown. All right. What does Marge hide in her hair? A, a family of happy little elves. B, a bowling <laughs> ball. C, the money jar. Or D, a nest of spiders. So, Bitter, I'm going to let you answer this one. What do oh, you think I it is? I have no idea. Well, look but at it. You definitely know? Oh, of I course presume. I know. Um, I mean, I think it's, uh, I'm going to go with A, a family of happy little elves. It is the money jar. Oh, it is the money jar. Because when Bart gets a tattoo at the mall, and he gets taken out. He tries to get the mother tattoo, and it becomes moth. Mm. Basically, Marge has to take the money out of her money jar to get the tattoo removed. She, Why would it be so, moth by mistake? So Bart was getting a mother tattoo. Oh, it's in mother. And she uh, saw him mom. in the chair and yanked him out gotcha, before it could be finished. Gotcha. All righty. So the next one we have is card number 21. I don't know if I've been saying all the cards. So, uh, all right, America's most armed and dangerous is on, says... Bart to Maggie. Oh, Maggie loves that show. Mm. Let's see. Oh, oh puzzle. There's part puzzle. of the puzzle. I think that's one I actually, actually showed at the beginning. And what's and you can see yeah, I'm pointing at that. But that's uh an interesting set. I actually would be very curious what this uh picture looks like because you have the Springfield um nuclear power plant in the background. Oh yeah, with Krusty. and that is that's I believe that's actually a straight of Krusty the Clown. I don't think it's the Krusty Burger sign. Right. So I'll be curious Maybe what he's that is. Oh, at, number 33. Don't have a cow, man. I think this is called Call the Wild. I think it's the one where um, 
Uh, they go camping. Mm. No, no, maybe not. They weren't wearing that kind of. I don't know what that is. It must be a Tracy Almond short, oh, or okay. just an episode, a part of they the. We got another set. Bart Baffler. It says Bart's teacher's name is Miss Grumpenstein, Miss Sourpurse, Miss Crabapple, or Miss Grumbleberry. What do you think? Well, I know the answer. How do you not know the answer if you've ever seen Simpsons? I mean, I'm not a big. I used to watch Simpsons more when I was younger. But uh, we'll give it three. Two, one. Krabappel. Yep. Did you know, Bitter Ritz, that that character has been retired? I did not know that. Uh, when I think her name was Tess O'Neill, the woman that played uh, Mrs. Krabappel. Okay. She passed away from cancer a few years Aww. ago. So out of respect, they retired the character. That's nice. And there was, uh, when that happened, it was actually kind of cool. Like a really nice thing. Like Ned Flanders, mm -hmm. his his um, wife Maud had died in an early episode. Right. And then in this one, uh, at the very end of the episode, you see Ned Flanders, and he's basically uh, sh praying to both ghosts. Right. Sorry. <laughs> They're fine. You're just hands were in your face. Okay, that's uh, that was nice of them to honor her in that way. This one shows a very uh, very popular saying of Bart Simpson's back in the day. Okay. It's actually, so card number sixty three. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. You can't prove anything. That was a uh, big part in the Do the Bartman uh, mm. music video. One of his childhood favorites. There I is a, a video somewhere of him doing dance. Yes. The Bart dance. All right. So we got another ba Bart baffler. So it says, what did Krusty the Clown, what was Krusty the Clown accused of? Was it being too subtle, robbing the Quickie Mart, not being funny, the savings and loan fraud? Do you know the answer? I do, and I actually find this very interesting. I do not know the answer. So he was accused of robbing the Quickie Mart. Okay, B. It ended up being Sideshow Bob. Uh, oh, okay. Dressing, you know, uh, fraudulent gear. But take a look at that for a second. Oh, what? Go ahead. So Quickie Mart, as uh, anybody knows at this point in the um, lineage, it's spelled with a K. K-W-I-K. Oh. Yeah. But in this particular card, it's spelled quick as in speed. That is mm. kind of interesting. Yeah. But again, so the show is so early. Yeah. All right, now we've got uh, card number 77, and Lisa's saying, no, Marge is saying, that's so weird, the, the bubbles are like kind of in a weird it's spot. coming out of her chest. So Marge is saying, let's take turns yelling into the canyon, Lisa, you start. And Lisa says, okay, boring. Very <laughs> against the character of Lisa Simpson, she would not be uh, finding nature boring. Right. But again. It was early on. Yeah, these are still from trying to figure her out. Right. Ooh. Homer's homeroom. Homer, homeroom. He's in a cap and gown. That's a surprise. <laughs> it might be I, I, I kind of moo moo with a hat. Mm -hmm. What did Bart do to the statue of Jebediah Springfield? A, he polished it. B, he cut off his arms. C, he cut its head off. And D, he waxed it. What I do you think, Bitter Ritz? Of course I know the answer. I have no idea. Not to sound crass, but I really like the Well, Simpsons. it's not yeah, crass when you're obsessed with it. Yes, that's true. Is it? Wait, wait. Would you say you're more or less obsessed than wrestling or The Simpsons? I'll be honest with you. It's pretty on par. I would say wrestling. You don't really play Simpsons games as much as you do wrestling, but maybe just because they don't have them come out on a yearly basis. Right, right. I mean... Do you watch as much Simpsons as you watch wrestling? I think all that boils down to is just there's more wrestling. Oh, ah, okay. Um, okay. But as far as my overall enjoyment, I really would put it like neck and neck. Okay. You know? Surprising to me. But... Um, and then you said what? What's the answer? Oh, he, he cut his head off. Correct. Yeah. Good job. But again, it, it's hard to say. Simpsons information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like... All right. Last but not least, we have our sticker. Our, what is it? Crummy sticker. Well, I, I actually had this t-shirt with us on it when I was a kid. So it says, underachiever and proud of it, man. Yeah, it said uh, Bart Simpson, underachiever, proud of it. Yeah, I had that when and I was a kid. And then on the back Might be a side, photo with me in it, too, actually. I will not belch the national anthem. Oh, a common, a long-term gag uh, was the chalkboard gag and also yeah. the couch gag. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure that my... So when I went to Miss, uh, Missouri with my mm -hmm. cousin and my uh, Aunt Regan, if you look at any of those pictures, not only do I have a glorious rat tail... But I'm wearing blue Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shorts, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure I'm wearing my uh, Bart Simpson yeah. underachiever and proud of it T-shirt. So I'll have to confirm that fact. Yeah, I got to go find some of those pictures. I know they're yes. floating around. All right, so that was our um, the Simpsons exotic cards, annoying stickers, bewilding 
bewildering puzzles and fun galore cards. That's what the box says. The what 1999, is he saying? What is he saying on it? Um, he is saying, we're the Simpsons, man. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. This ain't no library, so you better be buy it or beat it. You forgot the man. This ain't no library man. So oh, buy yes. it or beat it. All right. So now we get to uh, your favorite part of the night where you get your present. Five, what are we on? Six of ten. Six of ten. Uh, Surprise, these were the presents. Yes. Can we? Well, you already knew about these. We got these at the. So, oh, rundown. Yes. Day one, uh, I got a virtual zoo uh, field trip for my classroom from mm -hmm. the Staten Island Zoo. Very cool. Got to see like um, a sloth, a tortoise, um, an armadillo. Mm -hmm. uh, day two was the Mario Kart Live uh, interactive race car, the uh, Luigi. Luigi set for the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. Very hard to find. We actually were able to score that. Mm -hmm. Day three was the Super Mario Brothers, uh, the movie soundtrack. Mm -hmm. uh, great shape. And it was actually a promotional one, uh, hence the slit right there. It's kind of fun. Uh, day four, or no, day five. Day four, day five, whatever it is. Right there. Oh, okay. yes, yes. WWF Vintage Cookie Cutters featuring the WWF logo, Hulk Hogan, Big Boss Man, and the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh, we don't have your... Brand new Wilton. Yes. So that was day four. If day five what? you brought in the car, you didn't bring it back in. Is uh, oh yeah, Walter Day's um trading card anthology. Walter Day is a very well known uh, referee uh, for Twin Galaxies. It's like uh, he does the arcade machine. Um, yeah. Whenever there's like a competition or you know new score for uh, trying to break a world record kind of stuff, he he's the referee for that. Yep, uh, he's been in a lot of movies five. too about gaming. And uh, yeah, so basically he had a whole trading card project for the past thirty years. All right. Six. All so right, here we it, go. Take shake it. Well, I mean, don't shake it, but you know, feel around. All or right. Whatever. Very it, light. Yeah. Very light. Now. It's a little deceiving because you don't know if it's big or small yeah. or what size it is. I, I can't tell because like it feels like a soft like, but that could be like the the cushioning of it, like the packaging, mm -hmm. or it could be a shirt. Um, so throw a guess out there. I'm gonna say it's a shirt. Okay. Guess number one is. So hit number one. Yes, hint number one is Korea. Pagman. Okay. Why don't you explain what Pagman is? Pagman is a uh, bootleg Pac-Man Nintendo game that we have We've got at a flea market years ago. Yes, it was... So uh, Pac-Man, it's Pagman with a G. Yes, and then like Korean writing on it. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Yes. Uh, okay, so you think that I repurchased you Pagman? <laughs> it's more of a joke. <laughs> um, so... So, I'll be honest with you, the only thing I can think of with Korea, for real, mm -hmm. other than Pac-Man, is, um, is it Psy, that Gangnam Style. Oh, okay. So, so something with Gangnam, Gangnam Style. style guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, clue two is, I don't know if I'm going to give it away, very funny. For Korea? Um, is Dr. Ken from Korea? I don't know. I, I don't know why you have anything for Dr. Um, Korean and funny. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Very funny. Okay. So TBS, their um, catchphrase is very funny. And I believe that there is a Conan O'Brien Funko Pop for him being a K-pop superstar. Mm. So that's guess number two. That's guess number two. Okay, well, I don't know what to give you as a hint. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you open it up? And I'm gonna- I, it, I'm gonna open it from the other side because that's where I taste it. I okay. Taste it. It's, it's just one in the middle. It's not super- uh... So we should show the other ones. While you're opening that, I'll grab those. Do you want the scissors? Even though it's, it's, it's not that. Here you go. You know, for like that one stripe of tape, mm -hmm. it's actually not easy to open Ooh, for some reason. So as he's opening that, he may or may not be correct. I won't I won't admit to it yet. <laughs> but these are the other Conan O'Brien pops that we have. We got them for 97 cents at GameStop a while back. <laughs> 
at the Call of the Wild. This one is a Bavarian one. This is a, I don't remember which one. I don't know. Let's look in the back of these. But I can't say I spent 97 cents on this one. I don't know. This is how they packed it. I, this is eBay. Thank you, eBay person who smokes cigarettes because it smells like cigarettes. Oh, boy. There you go. Yeah. Conan O'Brien, K-pop one. So I got to I gotta be honest. Like, it's funny because I knew, I know this existed. Mm -hmm. But like I, I just like basically kind of saw one of these like re fairly recently. Yeah, well and today yeah, <laughs> we saw it yeah. today, and it was ninety seven cents, and I'm like, mm, can you put that back, please? <laughs> so I figured I might as well just give this to you now, since you basically know I already got it for you. So, but if only... I hadn't seen that and you said Korean, I'm I like, know. I have no idea. I should have waited, maybe. But uh, so the only one we're missing is the luchador, and so the other one is the Armenian. Here, let me show him again. Then. So this is the Armenian one that we have. All yeah. right, you're going to show him off? Yeah, it's like crazy. Like, uh, we said this in the previous episode, too, where I we swore off from ever buying Funko Pops, but now now that GameStop is, like, basically clearancing out all Some the... Of them. A lot of them, anyway, yeah. Like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll I mean, do this. You it, show that. It all started with the um, Adam Sandler one from uh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, but that one wasn't even... That was in an outlet store. Right. That's interesting. In New Jersey. So here's the Conan O'Brien uh, K-pop version. Now, what's funny is that I'm not super familiar. I know what K-pop is, but I don't know like Korean what the songs. yeah. But I don't know like what the um the cliches that might come with the K-pop, you know, type of thing. But like, if you if can you hand me one of the, the other ones? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at his eyes, and like if you notice, like he's got shadows, like mascara, I guess, on his eyes. Eyeshadow. Yeah, eyeshadow. Where it's like the other ones don't. So I don't know. Is that like a thing? I wonder for a K-pop. Do they like? Do they wear eye stuff? Eyeshadow. Or is this just a a defect in in the actual pop? No, like, it's even in the box. Oh yeah. So there you go. Right there. So there you go. Day number six. Six. Yep. Do you want a bonus one? Sure. Of course, I always take a bonus one. And guys, you, you just have to ad admit that that wonderful tied ascot look on his shirt is fantastic, and what a beautiful butt! I actually miss uh, Conan O'Brien, as he probably still does, but like he always did the string dance, which was pretty fun. He would like loop little things on his dance and like you know pull the strings, and I don't know. Long time Conan O'Brien thing, so I've definitely always liked him. I wonder if they ever made a Triumph the Insult comic dog. Oh, seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. There is the luchador one. It I came together. <laughs> oh, okay. So I figured might as well. It's just a fourth one. This will count against the thirty you'll receive on your birthday. So now no you're problem. getting twenty nine. <laughs> awesome. So you want to show that one off? Yeah. So now you have all four, so we can be done with the Conan O'Brien search of uh, four guys. It's really. I, I definitely did not. Careful. Like. I did not expect this one. I, I know that she was looking for them, but it seemed like this was like very hard to come by. So none of these were that hard to come by. Everybody probably bought them for the 97 cents that we did <laughs> At, and then charged up. But I mean, I didn't spend an arm and a leg. It's just more than 97 cents. This was, I like this one a lot. Yeah, well, it's also wrestling. So yeah, it's wrestling related. Detail. And I remember this particular episode. Uh, I actually remember a couple of these, but like, I just, yeah, it's very detailed. You got the cape. Like, he's got a championship belt on. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is very cool. I like this one a lot. Mm hmm Figured you would. Awesome. So, yeah, now we got a little section of Conan O'Brien Pops over on the uh, Nintendo area. Yes. So I, I wonder if they do make any other characters from the show. I mean, they have... One of our friends was saying, like, the... Something that like transforms that, or something? Yeah, the, like, multiple one Conan O'Brien Pops, and they turn into, like, a bigger Conan O'Brien Pop. Have you looked at that? No, I, I I'm curious with that. With I'm that. sure it's not 97 cents, so, you know. Right, probably not. <laughs> but, yeah, I could try it into a comic dog would be cool. The um, the bear, I can't imagine mm -hmm. they could, uh, that Funko would be able to touch that. Um, and, like, a lot of the other ones are parodies, so, like, the FedEx Pope and the... Um, and Shuverine, I can't imagine they would do, but maybe. Uh, Max Weinberger, Andy Richter. I, I bet you there's an Andy Richter, actually. That, I'd be pretty surprised if there wasn't. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. very cool. I love it. I'm going to have to watch uh, some of these clips now. He does, a, he does a really cool series with the Conan Without Borders. 
he just kind of tries to knock down barriers to other uh, na oh, nations by using comedy. And he genuinely does want to learn about those cultures. So there we go. There's our Conan O'Brien collection. Yes. Awesome. And again, what's really funny is that if you were able to get these trucks from GameStop. Right now, 97 th cents on This clearance. is less than a, uh, a Whopper. <laughs> They're all less than a Whopper. Yes. And probably about the same amount of plastic. Mm. All right, everybody. Thank you it. so much. Well, uh, Whoppers, I'm <laughs> sure are made out I of get junk. That. I get the attempt of the joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow when we open up gift number eight now, but day number seven. This is going to get confusing. I'm not confused. I'm just like, gimme, gimme, and yeah, we have it. No, right. I'm serious. I enjoy it, and I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Adios. Good night, guys.